Hey guys, so I wanted to do a postpartum update. Um, I haven't done one in a while and it is um, almost five months. Um, it'll be five months in like two days. And um, I have noticed some things different than before I was pregnant or while I was pregnant. So I figured I'd have something to kind of update so I'd go ahead and do one. Um, I know my father-in-law watches some of my videos, so this probably isn't the one for you to watch um, because there will be TMI in this video. Um, anyways, so let's see. So five months after I've had the baby and I got my um, time of the mom, my AF, I think is called in the TTC community. Um, I got that uh, two weeks ago three weeks, two weeks ago, I think, and, um, it was regular, it wasn't, I know I've heard that, um, some women say that their first one after they've had a baby is, like, huge, it wasn't bad, um, or anything like that, um, I will say that when, after I had the baby and, you know, you have your postpartum bleeding, um, I've heard people, because I use cloth pads, and I heard people say that, it, um, the smell is different, and I never really noticed that until now. Um, the postpartum smell is definitely different than your actual period smell. And, um, so yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, but I'm still loving the cloth pads. They were fantastic through my, I think it lasted about a week. Um, and so yeah, so that, so I got that back. Um, so now, um... It might be easier for us to get pregnant when we do start trying. Um, it was weird because I wasn't expecting it back um, yet because I am exclusively breastfeeding and I know that if you are then it's um, it usually takes longer for you to get it. Some women don't get it while they're breastfeeding. Some women it takes you know lots of months. Some women get it a week after. Like It just depends but um, I guess I just wasn't expecting it quite yet. But um, but it is nice in a sense because we do want to have a baby soon or get pregnant again relatively soon and so that was definitely encouraging to have that um, as opposed to not having it so yeah um, let's see other things um, this is a weird one has anybody noticed that <laughs> okay um, when like for one when you have gas like, um, I never had cramping when I had gas before, anything like that. And then after I had my C-section, you know, it's a few days before you have a bowel movement. And so, um, sometimes there's cramping involved, which I did have. And that's the first time I had ever really felt anything like that. But now, since I've had that, it's like all of a sudden my body has, um, gotten to know this new feeling that it can have and so now every time I get gas almost I get cramping and it hurts like bad but it's not I mean it's not like I have to stop in my tracks bad but it I mean it hurts and it it's just a feeling that I never felt until right after I had the baby so I don't know is that normal also <laughs> If I, okay, this is embarrassing, but okay, if I fart, <laughs> it like smells a hundred times worse than it ever used to, and that came immediately after, um, like, after I had the baby and, like, I didn't go to the bathroom for a few days, and then, um, like, how that, <laughs> this is really gross, you guys, if poop grosses you out, then turn off, so how like the first one smells like after you haven't gone for a few days and then like if you have gas like those smell the same and they never stop smelling like that and it used to if I had to pass gas like I could get away with it, it didn't smell and I usually didn't make a noise unless I tried to and now it's like I even get grossed out by it and I don't know if this is normal um, because, like I said, it never happened until after I had the baby. Um, so, yeah. And he's crying, so I'm going to wrap this up. But So those are my two things that I've noticed for sure. Um, the other thing is my um, scar. It's healed 
great. Um, I never had any issues with it, but it'll hurt every now and then. Um, especially if I have like an under underwear right there because it's kind of my underwear line. Um, it'll hurt um, <clears throat> or irritate me. Um, but other than that, I really haven't had anything. Um, I lost all of my baby weight, but I my tummy is definitely nowhere near what it was before. It's like flabby and gross and so I'm trying to um, get into shape and lose some more weight um, and I guess really focus on like inches more, just getting my tummy more firm um, because it's really starting to bother me. Um, but, but yeah, with the breastfeeding, I think it's really helped that go down. Okay, so I got him. He's now eating. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's see. Other things postpartum. Um, I have been trying to, like I said, I want to get back into shape, so I've been trying to exercise more. Um, so I really haven't done much of that since I had him. Um, but yeah, so that's definitely a goal. Oh, other postpartum. My hair is falling out like crazy. Um, I knew it was probably going to happen, but... It's insane. Like, I am getting bald spots here. Like, not really bald, but it's definitely thinning right there. And right here on both sides. Um, and so that's really been, like, sad and depressing. And I know that people say that, or I've heard that if, you know, whatever thins, usually if it's going to come back, it'll come back by the time the baby's a year old. So hopefully it gets back otherwise I mean when it's down you can't really tell but when it's up you can um, so that's really aggravating and gross because every time I take a shower there's just like clumps of hair and um, so yeah that is definitely not a fun thing I think that's pretty much it um, other than that you know everything's back to normal we're uh, getting into the groove of things as far as we're working on schedule with him the baby um, and stuff like that, but everything is going well. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.